Hello everyone, welcome to the DigiDev channel. In this video, we're going to learn about how we can create a custom random function, which will give us a random value each time we call it. So let's just start by creating that function. Let's say const rand and set it equal to a function. And inside this function, what I want is a way to create a random value. Let's first pass a max variable to that function so I can determine the maximum value that I want from my random value. For example, it's going to be from 0 to 10, 0 to 100 or more. And let's set a default value of 10 for it. So if a user just called rand, the max value would be 10. And if you put any number inside that rand, the max value would be that value. And in order to create a random value, we need a number that each time we get it, it's not the same and works on every operating system. Them. and the perfect number for that would be time so let's create a time variable and set it equal to new date dot get time so that is a javascript class and get time will give us a unique time let's now create a rand value and set it equal to time for now i'm just going to show you what a time does and what a unique time looks like so let's just return random value for now let's just console.log rand save it and hit refresh here you can see it is giving us a unique time so a unique time is by second each time i refresh it it gives me a different value because it's adding it by second so the problem here is that if i duplicate this uh, multiple times and if i hit refresh you can see all of the value are the same so if i want to get a random number it is not going to be in any use so what i need is another bunch of random dynamic values so let's create two dynamic values a counter i will set it equal to one and a pre rand equal to one as well now inside here let's write counter plus plus so each time we get a random number one value going to be added to our counter and each time i get a random value i want to get the prev random be equal to rand value okay now i have two dynamic value that will change each time i'm calling the rand value and what i want to do as you can see here the unix time is a very big number and i'm gonna make it smaller let's put it to parentheses here and i will say time divided by let's say counter first and then i want to divide it by previous random let's save it now if i refresh you can see this is all random we also want it to be in our maximum range so i will put a parenthesis around all of it and write the remaining of 10 it will be from 0 to 10 the 10 is not included so let's save it and hit refresh here you can see it is giving me a random value each time i'm refreshing but there is a simple problem here here you can see when a value becomes zero all of the other vari values will be nan nan means for not a number and and it's because when it is become zero the previous number will become zero and when we are dividing this number it is give us not a number and for that we will say add one to the previous random and for that the prev random will never be zero and we will never encounter that problem again and for here i should set it to max as well so it would be the value that the user enters another thing is that i want this to be integer i don't want to have any other digits so here i will use parse int and put the rand value inside that parse int if i save now and hit refresh here you can see the random values that are being generated. Now if I put a number of 100 here, 1000 here, and 10,000 here, you can see giving us back the random number that we want. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you. Bye bye.